I have to give credit to Kenton because this is something that he thought of, not me. But we worked around the clock. We talked about focus. We talked about reflection. And what I learned from him in a nutshell, in a nutshell, is that the conscious mind is easily distracted. The conscious mind can't take everything in. It's impossible. There's just too many things going on. That's why you get distracted. That's why you get distracted with the character. That's why Mark over here, or my friend Rich over here, people ah, get distracted. Because the conscious mind can't focus on too many things. It's like one, two, three. It's too many. It's just too many. However, the unconscious mind is what's really running the show. The unconscious mind is a lot bigger. It is a lot bigger. And it is stubborn and it's set in its way. So if you try to push up against your unconscious mind, you're going to find yourself in a loop of groundhog day. Just repeating patterns after that. People go to seminars, they go to workshops, they get all excited. Then they go home, this is what's running the show. So their life goes right back to where they were before. So, what hope is there? Really? Because think about it. If the unconscious mind is easily distracted, which it is, and I hope I showed you that it is, and you know it is, and you also know that the unconscious mind is stubborn and set in its way, the only answer is to break the pattern to literally break the pattern so that you can create something new. Yeah. So this is what Kenton taught me. If you want to be focused, it's not about techniques. It's not about clearing your desk and shutting off your cell phone. Here's the secret. This is the third one. The secret is to make focus a habit so that your success will be automatic. Automatic. Without thinking about 